Hey, this is a lesson on how to play Last Stand by Adelaide Sway. Um, the recording is a half step down tuned, and my guitar was already a half step down tuned when I was going to teach you, so that's how I'm going to teach it. I would teach it in standard, I'm sorry, but it was already like that. And I didn't feel like tuning it to standard. But um, just know that if you want to play along with the recording, you're going to have to tune your guitar a half step down. I will start with the intro. It's going to sound like this. Okay. And it really only plays that once for the intro. I just played it a couple times so you could hear it. Um, you're going to need start off in a it's not a not really a B minor you're gonna do a B minor with the bar but then you're gonna lift off the uh, with your index finger keep it on the second fret of the B but just lift the bar part up so you have an open high E okay and then all you're gonna do is for the picking pattern, you're going to do the A string, D, G, high E, B, G, A. You're going to lift off with your index finger and middle finger, but keep your ring and pinky on the fourth fret of your D and G. Okay, then you're going to put your index finger on the 2nd fret of the B string. Okay, then you're going to pick the A string. D, G, B, G, D, A. Then you're going to go to a G, but you don't need third fret of your B or the third fret of your high E. So you can just lift those off. All you really need to do is put a finger on the um, third fret of the low E. You're going to pick low E, D, G, B, G, D, low E. Then you're going to go to a A sus 2 chord which is just like an A, a regular A major, but you're going to lift off with your uh, whatever fingers on the second fret of the B. So you have an open B. You're going to play A, D, G. Play the B and then hammer on to the second fret. G, A. back to the beginning. Sorry. Okay. So it's going to play that once for the intro. And then to start the verse, you're going to do the exact same thing again twice. You're going to play that picking pattern, everything, all over again two times. So... Okay, so that's the verse. So like I said, you're going to do the picking part two times. And then for the strumming, you're going to play B minor. And you can either play it with the bar or without the bar. It sounds good either way. So B minor to an A to a G and then back to an A. You're only going to do that one time and then you're going to go to an E minor and you're going to play that for two measures. 
and then up to an F sharp power chord you're going to palm mute it and kind of build it up and you're going to do that for two measures okay and then that is the entire verse and now to the chorus the chorus is kind of long and it has a lot of chords in it so I'll play it first and then show you how to do it So there are a lot of chords, and there are some things that I do a little bit different than the original song, and I'll show you the differences, and you can pick which one you want to do. But to start off, you're going to play a measure of G, D, and then two measures of A. And you do that again. where I do something different than the band does. Um, if you look at some of the YouTube videos of them playing the acoustic version, um, he'll go to a D power chord, to a D over C sharp power chord, and then E minor, G. But I just don't like, if you're playing by yourself with just an acoustic, I think it sounds better to go to a regular D chord your pinky on the 4th fret of the A string for the D over C sharp. E minor, to G. I don't know, it just doesn't sound right to be playing all these open chords and then go to a power chord. It just doesn't sound right to me, so. After you do this, have left to do is a B minor to A G B minor B minor A and end on an E minor so the last part is B minor A G E minor B minor A E minor and then right before it goes back into the verse it kind of uh, picks this E minor going back into the verse okay so that is the chorus okay so after you play the second verse and the second chorus it's going to go into the solo and I'm not going to teach you the actual solo but I will teach you the chords that go with it you're going to play well I'll play it for you and then show you how to do it to another verse or the ending outro whatever it is okay so as you can see is it starts out just like the chorus with, uh, G D and two measures of A but then the second time you're gonna play G D and only one measure of A and then after that one measure of A you're going to go to the F-sharp power chord and build it up again. But instead of doing it for two measures like all the other times, you're going to do it for one measure. Before going back into the verse. So that's it. I will put the um, intro verse, the tab for it, in the, um, in the description if you still need help. But I've got to end this video because it's getting up on 10 minutes, so... Thank you.